So I have dry fit all of the parts. You can now see how this is all going to look. I've got this particular centering ring just over the end of the engine hook. I've got this centering ring just a few millimeters behind the shoulder of the actual tail cone. The tail cone is lined up on the end of the body tube. And we can see that the engine clip comes through the slot. We're going to have about one or two millimeters of the engine mount tube sticking out the back of the tail cone. So this is what it's going to look like. Um, a little bit complicated, but uh, you can, once you see the parts together, it's easy to say, ah, yeah, I can build that now. That, that makes a lot of sense. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue on these two uh, centering rings, and I'm going to glue in there the thrust ring as well. I'm going to use the same technique I showed before. I'm going to put this in partially, put some glue around it, then push it in with this engine. I'm going to let all that dry for a while then. Actually, if you look inside there, you can also see the engine clip retainer ring right there. Um, I'll let this dry for a little bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and mount the whole thing, and it should be ready to start building the rocket. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention one thing. Um, this particular rocket uh, does not have the Kevlar cord attached here. It's going to be attached to a coupler at the end. So I'm going to take this body tube, which is a, a BT-60 um, uh, tube, and put an extender of about nine inches onto the end of it. So the coupler is going to be mounted up near the top of the rocket. I'm not going to mount this on the engine mount like I did on the previous rocket. So I have the engine mount glued together. I put plenty of fillets on both sides of these rings and the engine clip uh, retainer ring is right here. And the tail cone is going to go on here like this. So the last thing to do is to put in the thrust ring. And I, I have a little tip for doing that. I showed that in a different video, but I'm going to show it on this one as well, since I haven't done it on a 24 millimeter rocket.